Man, he hasn't texted back yet. All right, let me just text him again. Maybe he didn't get the last text. Let me see if he got the last text. Let me just text him and see if he got the last text. Mm. He still ain't responded to that text either. Texting mishaps. Are you guilty of these? Stay tuned. Team, I love me, me, me. Welcome. So, texting mishaps. Are you guilty of these things? Today, I'm going to give you eight texting mishaps to see if you are guilty of them. And if you are, you need to stop these things. Let's jump into it. Texting mishap number one. You have decided to go out with your girlfriends and now you're super drunk or just tipsy. You've been thinking about texting them all night, but you've been fighting it off. You've been fighting it off. You've been fighting it off. Guess what? That liquid courage is now in you. And now you're about to start do, 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 do. saying the stuff that you want to say, but you don't say it until you get drunk or the late night booty call. Texting mishap number one. Don't do that, especially if you're looking for a relationship. If you're looking for a relationship and you do this drunk texting, you have now gone down the ladder on his ladder of priorities or even his ladder of, okay, I was taking her serious. Now, not so much. Don't do it. Texting mishap number two. Lots of people do this. They're trying to have serious conversations via text. And I want you to not do these things because... The person is not in front of you, and most of the time when you try to have serious conversations via text message, somebody is going to take the text message out of context, and you don't want to do that, so just do, do not try to have serious conversations via text. Just save it until you guys are face-to-face, -face, or at the very least, over the phone. But face-to-face, -face, you can see their body language, you can see their facial expressions, you can really take in where you need to go and how you need to deliver the message. If you need to soften your turn, if you tone, if you need to be a little bit more stern, you know, face to face is the time to have the serious conversations, not texting. Finally, even if you were trying not to um, disrespect the person or come off as being rude or evil or anything like that, they might take it like that and all of a sudden now you're having a text war. Just don't try to have the serious conversations via text. Number three. You are trying to ask him or her where they have been at. So they have gone off the deep end. They've gone into the abyss for three, four days, even a week. You've been maybe trying to contact them. They have never answered. And finally, when you do hear from him, during the do hear from him or from her during the course of the conversation, now you're asking, where have you been at? Don't do that. Don't do that because it actually shows that you care more about the relationship or the potential relationship or whatever it is more than the other person. You want to keep that person on their toes. So don't ask them where they've been at. Just enjoy the conversation. If you um, are not feeling them at the time, don't answer them. If you're not feeling her at the time, don't answer her. But don't give them the ammunition to be able to say that you care more about the situation, i.e. relationship, more than they do. Don't ask them where they've been at. Just enjoy the conversation. You might be bored that day, right? Because sometimes we get bored and we contact people when we're bored and we want them to answer us then. So if you're having a boring moment, go ahead and indulge. Texting mishap number four. You are asking him or her if they have received your previous text message. Here's the problem with that. Don't ask them if they receive your previous text message because 99% of the time and probably even higher, but I'm going to say 99, some things do occur with our cell phones where they don't give you the message. You might be having issues with your cell phone that particular day, that particular hour, whatever, and you might not have received the message. I get that. However, 99% of the time, the person has gotten your message. They just did not reply because they didn't want to. So don't text them again. After number one, they didn't even didn't even acknowledge nor answer your previous text. And then now they have to think up another lie or just not answer you even further, making you more pissed off by you asking, did you get my last text? Trust me, they got your last text. No reason to ask him. Like even people that travel out of the country, when they turn that phone back on, they got your text. Now, they might not answer you because they're out of the country and they don't want to play, pay that high bill. I get that. But I'm just saying, 
99% of the time and probably even higher, that person has got your last text. You do not need to confirm that they got your last text. Just take it as they're busy or they just don't want to be bothered right now. Texting mishap number five. You are answering text messages way too soon, like soon as they are sent to you. And obviously this only applies to the person that you are potentially dating. Like as soon as they text you because you've been sitting there holding the phone, wishing and hoping that they text you, you answer right away. Don't do that. Here's why you don't do that. Because, again, you are putting them on a higher ladder than they need to be, at least at this point in the relationship. And you are letting them see that you ain't got nothing going on. You ain't got nothing going on. So as soon as they hit the button, as soon as they hit the send, you basically replying. And they like, dang, I didn't even get a chance to put my phone down and walk away. Like, he ain't got nothing going on. Dang, that's too fast. Now. If y'all were about to meet or getting ready to meet and somebody's running uh, uh, running behind or running late or something like that, that's something different. But I mean, if you guys haven't spoken or contacted each other all day and soon as the person hits sin, you are already replying, like, calm down. Look at the message if you must. I get that. I get that. We all know it. We want to see who texts. I get that. So look at the message if you must. Walk away. Five, ten minutes, maybe. And then come on back and answer. And I'm not saying you have to do this every single time. But you don't want to give the appearance that you have nothing going on in your life. Even if you don't. It's all an illusion when you're first dating somebody. When you're first trying to hook somebody. It's all an illusion. And even if it's not an illusion. It's an illusion. <laughs> Men texting mishap number six is actually for you. So. You out with your buddies, you see this fine chick across the way, you go and ask her for a number, she actually gives it to you, y'all had a good conversation, and then she is wondering when you're going to call her because she only gave you her number. You didn't give her hers, right? But you know you was feeling old girl. But you decide to wait the old three-day waiting period before you get in contact with her. Now, here's the problem with that. If you're actually looking for a relationship, you don't want to you don't want to wait the three day waiting period. Number two, she might not even remember who you are, because if she is as fine as you think she is, trust me. You was probably not the only brother that she gave her number out to. So waiting the three day period, she might not even remember your name. Somebody else is already putting in time and energy. Yes, I get it. It's a short period of time. But when you're dating somebody, when you're looking for a relationship, it's that person that really hooks you, that really gets you in the beginning and draws you in. So by the time you get to her in the third day, that other dude that already been talking to her, they actually about to meet on day three. And now you have already wasted time. You have already wasted energy because you don't want to look too desperate. So you're waiting the old school three-day waiting period. You don't have to do that any longer. If you're interested in her, make her know that you are interested in her. Because somebody else is going to come swoop her up right from underneath your nose by waiting the three-day waiting period. So don't wait. Contact her the next day. You can even contact her that night and say, you know what, I had a really great conversation. Can't wait to do it again. Something very simple. That's going to make her think, okay, okay. And you already on top. You don't even know because she probably might not reply. She probably might not tell you that you're on top. But trust me, you're already on top. Don't wait the three days no more. Texting mishap number seven. You out on a date with whomever. You just met this person or they actually happen to be your girlfriend or boyfriend. And you are hitting them buttons the whole time you're on a date. Like, number one, don't do it. Number two, is rude. Number three, if whatever that conversation is, is very important, then maybe you need to be with that person. Because the person that's in front of you, don't feel important. They don't feel like a priority. They don't even feel like you want to be there. So if you are on a date and you constantly, even more than one time is too many. Really, my own personal opinion is that you put the phone away. However, I understand that sometimes emergencies come up that you are, you know, unforeseen, um, unforeseen things happen. I get all of that. However, for the majority of the time, you don't need to even look at that phone. You need to keep the phone in the pocket or keep the phone in your purse. Don't even look at it while you're on a date. Because some people, especially my younger generation, I love y'all, but 
Everything is about social media or texting. Nothing is done in person. So when you happen to get in front of somebody, you kind of don't even know how to act. Hate to put it that way, but that's kind of what it is. Because I even go out, even when me and my fiance go out, or if I'm out with friends or whatever, I see everybody looking down and they on the phone. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not guilty of this, but I make a conscious effort not to do it the entire time. Even when I'm with my girlfriends, I put it on the table, but I turn it over so I don't have a tendency to do this the whole time. Because we all nosy. We all know, see, and we all want to know who's trying to get in contact with us. And a lot of times, these phones and um, other uh, avenues make us feel a little bit more important than we need to feel, at least at every single moment of our life. We do not need to be plugged in every single moment of our life. That's actually starting to destroy more relationships by being plugged in all the time. So you can de-plug while you're out, especially on a date, especially with somebody new. De-plug. Finally, texting mishap number eight. I'm actually guilty of this one, <laughs> which is double texting without an answer in between. So sometimes you can send two, three questions, especially when, um, you know, I, I just want to answer. But instead of me waiting in order to get the answer for the one question, I'll send like two or three questions at one time. Now, I am doing better with this because especially if I'm texting my fiance or some other guy, you know, depending on who it is, my brother, my cousin, whoever it is, some other guy, right? I'm texting and I want all of those answers, but I have to understand that they can only focus on one thing. Spe specifically, I'm talking about the men. So if I want to answer to all of those questions, I need to ask a question, let the answer ask the next question, let the answer. That's the way that I know I need to do it, especially with my men. I'm actually more loose with this with my women because we can we, we can handle things we can answer all the questions and then they all come through you know succinct succinctly they all coming through but specifically when i'm texting my fiance i'll get a little attitude when he don't answer all the questions but i have to reel that in and be like you know what <laughs> he don't respond and, and um, do the things the way that I do. And that's the why I'm sending out those messages the way that I do, which is question after question. Because if somebody send me three, four questions, I'm answering all of those questions. But men don't really do like we do. They'll He'll probably, and this is what my fiance does, he'll answer the last question. And so I'm sitting there like, dude, uh, what happened to the other three? When partially it's my fault because they don't do things the way that we do. So if you are guilty of number eight, slow down, especially women. Know who you're dealing with. If you're dealing with your new boo or um, your actual boyfriend or girlfriend, know your audience is all I'm saying. And then don't get frustrated if they don't answer all of your questions at one time. So give them a chance to look at the text and respond and then, you know, kind of go back and forth. Let it do a, a, let it be a back and forth thing instead of you hit them with three, four, five things at one time and then expecting them to get back to you with all of the answers to all of those three, four, five things. And then you're kind of ticked off or like, dang, I mean, did you not see that question? They just don't do like we do. All right. All right, team, I love me, me, me. So make sure that you go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. You can even give me a thumbs down if you hated it, okay? I'm not mad at you. Either way, let me know that um, you are actually interacting with me and I am interacting with you. Also, put some comments down in the comment section because I love to read them. And now, if this is your very first time here to I Love Me, 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 make sure that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me Me Me, I am supplying you guys with the tips and tools in order to have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship so we can dramatically decrease the divorce rate. All right. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.